we know, O Lord of life and love, about the need. Touch our hearts anew with love, that we may, too may love and give. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to our circle for silent meditation. This is our daily noon time GMT coming together during the festival week every day when the in our circle, we will meditate on qualities of each of the seven rays, identifying them to project our service work for the next seven years. This daily meeting is will be focalized by the 2025 initiative coordination group. Every day in the next seven days, each of us will focalize the meeting on one of the rays, starting tomorrow with the first ray and going through all the rays to seventh ray on the 28th. Today, it will be a little bit different because today is the first day and we focus on the energy of synthesis. So we invite us today to reflect on what is this energy and how, how we can practically relate it to our lives. Each meeting, including today's, will start with a short sharing that will help the group to focus in the silent meditation that will proceed. During the silent meditation, there will be slide uh, with suggested outline for the meditation if anyone would like to follow that uh, guideline we invite you to do that or you can just be in a silent space present with the group visualizing the group standing together to receive hierarchical impressions and we will end the meditation with the sounding of the great invocation and that would be uh, three minutes before uh, half past hour at the beginning. So we can begin. The energy of synthesis. Energy of synthesis is a new energy, a new force, and a new substance which will shape and mold a new civilization, which will carry forward the evolutionary plan for humanity into manifestation. The energy of synthesis <clears throat> reaches our planet through the avatar of synthesis, who, acting under the direction of a greater council 
cosmic life steps down this energy so that it can be used by the spiritual energy hierarchy of our planet to facilitate the transition from the era of Pisces to the era of Aquarius. The avatar <clears throat> releases the new energy of synthesis to the planetary logos and the Christ, who in turn releases it to the new ashram of synthesis composed of the ashrams of race one, two, and seven via its focal points, Master Moria, Jola Kul, and Rakotsi. While the energy of synthesis is a synthesis of first, second, and seventh ray energies, and carries then resemblances to these, it is not like any one or any combination of them. Its primary characteristics are fourth dimensional and thus most difficult to define and describe. It both radiates and absorbs at the same time, producing a motion and a relation of motions which brings the extreme opposites into immediate juxtaposition. It is causing an intense conflict, but at the same time, it forces the resolution of the extremes and the emergence of a higher perspective, which includes the previous opposites into a new and higher synthesis. The new ashram of synthesis carries the responsibility not only of incarnating, so to speak, as a conscious soul within the body of humanity, but of building the new forms of the new civilization, which can and will adequately house that incarnate soul and provide for its continuing growth and development. This new ashram synthesizing the race one two and seven works to develop in the group life of humanity the cooperative leadership we one the innate consciousness manifesting as brotherhood we two and the resolution of the economic problem through the risk distribution of the riches of the planet we seven however it will not be a smooth ride because as the energy of synthesis is progressively applied to the world situations, conflicts emerge everywhere and are extreme, but they will eventually be followed by the creative and evolutionary changes. As members or aspiring members of the new group of world servers, we are called to support this hierarchical work for helping humanity to free itself from the prison of materialism and of destruction of our planet. The most efficient way to help the whole of humanity is through meditation to invoke and anchor the energies of the synthesis on the planet.
from the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center, which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm.